they have two thumbs up for this game if you were thinking about buying it. The enemies um, is pretty much something I would have to say is a negative. The, the enemies are so much fun to fight with. As, as you can see, they've, they've contrasted a lot. There are a lot of different enemies. They're just so much fun and you, you just you, can, you don't get bored of them. You cannot get bored of a single enemy because they're all... Maybe the spiders, that's about it, because the spiders will annoy the fuck out of you. Especially if you were playing as a berserker, what is a melee um, class, but you I'll talk more about that in my walkthrough. As you can see, a body just flew across my head. Cool. That's my grenade as well. I should really stop. As you can see, it also goes into slow motion, what sets scenery a lot better for the game. Slow down time, lets you work out your things, but you only get slow motion when you pull off a shot that the game is like, wow, you really want to see this in slow motion because you should be proud of this. Oh, this is a bloody gory piece of shit. Now watch it slowly so we can fucking keep you hooked. Um, that's pretty much what it does. But the, I'm, me personally, I'm disappointed in monsters. I thought they would be a few more different types in, instead of just some plain basic ones. I thought it would be more, a bit more contrasted, a bit more fun. Uh, you know, maybe have some really a few really fast zombies, but they have but they have they have no health or some really 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 slow ones that can do quite a lot of damage. Uh, but pretty much, um, in my opinion, I would give this a negative. But the game, the monsters are still amazing, and the things you can do with these things are also amazing. You can blow people's arms, legs off. You can blow their, you can just blow their body off, and then have their arms and legs and heads stood where the person should be. That's how good the models and everything have been set up in this game. As you can see, the gameplay is pretty much simple. As I've said before, shoot them in the head like any other zombie game. Hey keep it original Look, and just keep going for it. Uh, it in my hard. personal view, I, this is pretty much my view on the game, and I love it. And that was the curtain I was talking about earlier. Um, I love this game. It's so simple. It's fun. It's not. It's not difficult. You don't have to think about it. You have to work as a team. You have to have strategies. You have to know where you want to be. You have to have places to go. You have to study the game slowly and then work your way into it. But you can get addicted from it from your first game. Yes, when the game came out, it was a bit hard to find games, uh, but it's a lot easier to find games now. Um, and it's just so much fun to play. You can, if you ask me. You cannot go wrong with buying this game. It is one. Of, it is my vote, probably yeah. the best zombie game of this year uh, so far. Of course, I mean this is definitely beaten Resident Evil 5 hands down. Resident Evil 5, yeah, it's fun, but it has the storyline, everything like that. What was kind of a disappointment, but I'm not going to get into that because we're on about Kim Floor here. But this is just a classic survival horror game, and there aren't that many of them. Well, I mean. And well, even the ones that they do have are pretty much very bad. Saying that, Left 4 Dead uh, kind of decided to go, Oh, Killing Floor comes out soon, quickly. We're going to finish the survival mode. We're going to put up the update. Happened to be one month before this uh, Killing Floor was released. But nonetheless, if you ask me, this is better than Left 4 Dead. But... Uh, I hope I've really helped you out with if you're going to buy this game or not. I uh, hope I haven't dragged on too much and I hope I've kept you interested because this is probably one of the best buys you can make of this year. Well worth the money. It's a, it's action filled, it's fun, gory. I wouldn't it a kid could play this game. I mean, it wouldn't give a kid nightmares. I don't know, unless your kid's going to be scared of a big humongous zombie that has a chain gun and rocket launcher strapped to its arm that wears glasses. Yeah, if you're scared of that, don't buy it. If you're scared of invisible zombies, don't buy it. If you're scared of really fat people getting their heads blown off, do buy it because even if you're scared of it, it's still funny. Anyway, I hope I've helped with this game review and I hope to see you guys uh, sometime soon. Hopefully in my walkthrough and uh, glitch video, what will be out on the 20th, hopefully. Uh, see you.
is King Phoenix. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the game review. And I'll also be uploading the rest of this game for you if you're interested on how I did uh, probably tomorrow. Just so you can see what else I've done in this video. Anyway, enjoy. Hope I've helped you with your choice in this game. Um, just for the last time, because I can, I want to put the, I want to pound this into your skull as you can. It's worth the money. If you don't have the money now, save up for it. It's well worth it. You cannot go wrong with buying this game. It's just so much fun. You cannot go wrong with it. So. This is King Phoenix, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. I assume you run slower when you need more money for that piece. Money, money, money.